Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me today for coffee and the Word. That time every day that we examine a few verses of God's Word, and then we do our best to apply them to our lives so that we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So, like always, grab that mug. Let's get started. We're going to move into Psalm 46 this morning and talk about the ultimate stronghold. Verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Until recently, no one imagined the possibility of the world itself being destroyed. But today, our films are filled with ways that it could happen. But if you have this God as your God, you can face even such cataclysms without any fear. It doesn't say here that God will help you if you get into a strong refuge. It says he is that refuge. God is a stronghold or city that cannot be bombed or destroyed. Though earthquakes and tidal waves dissolve the solid world and civilizations melt, his rule is unbroken. It's unshaken. If God is with you, even the worst thing that happens to you, death, only makes you infinitely happier and greater. Maybe this will be our prayer. Lord, I feel so vulnerable to disease and to injury, to financial loss, to political betrayal, to professional failure. But in this psalm, you say that even earthquakes and mountains melting can't take away my inheritance of infinite love, resurrection, new heavens, and new earth. As I praise you for this, my anxiety ebbs away. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.